Hey everybody, welcome to Live Free and Tool On. In this week's episode of Ryobi Weekly, we have a huge amount of community uh, projects and things going on this week. Uh, Ryobi announced the link system last week. We got a little bit more information this week. And we had some sales from Direct Tools, just like this. All Ryobi One Plus was 25% off. All right, now Ryobi at the Home Depot has some sales coming out this week as well. You have some pretty good choices right now. This is the $99 Your Choice. Now, I, I, I've got to say, you probably want to take advantage of this while you can. These are really good tools, and they're usually a lot more expensive. So take advantage of it while you can save some money, get the tools, and I think in the long run, you won't regret it because you will want these tools after they go off sale, which everyone does this. When they stop having a sale, that's when people go out and they're like, oh, dang, I really should have bought that. So, you know, don't have that uh, regret later. Go ahead and take advantage of it now because you're going to use it. You're going to improve your house. You're going to improve your friend's house. You're going to use it at work. I don't, you're going to use it for something. Just go get it. The best deal that they have going right now is a uh, five piece HP tool uh, combo kit. You get all of those for $279. That's a great deal. Uh, if you're getting into the HP tools, I would recommend getting that because that's going to get you really far out there and it's going to save you a lot of money right off the bat. Now the next thing that I saw, this is the Ryobi Inverter. Now this is a really interesting tool. So uh, with this tool, you can see that you can power it up via your car or you can power it up uh, via your battery. But you see, now on the end of it, you have a 120 volt outlet. Then you have a couple USBs there too. Uh, I was really surprised to see this. They just kind of snuck it in under the radar. There's a few people that noticed on the communities, on the Facebook pages, and they called it out, and it kind of spread a little bit, and they got a little bit more attention. And a huge other tool that came out this week is the Everlast Emergency Light. I've been trying to get my hands on one of these for a long time. They stopped making them, and then the community started talking about them again, a little bit more interest, and boom, they popped back up. So I'm super happy. Uh, that we're able to get these back and they're coming back in stock. You just got to wait. Your store will get them. They're coming soon. Uh, and how they work is you plug them into an outlet and it always monitors the outlet. When you lose power on the outlet, the light automatically comes on, which is super cool because it can help you guide your way. Um, you just got to make sure you strategically place it in an area that's going to help you. Ah, uh, so... Um, I posted this week, uh, and I'm actually wearing it right here. This is my newest design. This is the Rising Sun R. Now, the history of Ryobi is started in Japan, so I was trying to bring that back in its own Land of the Rising Sun. So I took a Rising Sun, and I did a little bit of design work. I cut out the R, and I put one plus at the bottom. I have you know my nice little Live Free and Tool on uh, American flag on the side, and I felt that it was pr pretty creative. Um, I've got a lot of positive feedback for it. I have this in red, I have this in white. As you can also see, we have stickers as well. And uh, just an, another way to help promote the brand, promote the community. So if you're interested in one of these, take a link, uh, take a look down below. Um, I have a link to our page where we make them. And uh, go pick yourself up one, or two, or five, or how many ever you want. All right, so this comes to my favorite part of this series. We're gonna talk about the communities. Uh, specifically, this this is the Facebook groups, the TikToks. Um, I get on Instagram. I go everywhere in order to check this out. And this week, we're going to start off strong. From Ryobi Freaks Australia, we have uh, Dan Lamborn. And I may mess up your name. I'm really sorry about that. But he put something up. He actually built a Monopoly. It looks like organization and playing stands for the game. This is a great idea. Just check out what this looks like. The more you look at it, the more you see. You know, it's just it's just a great idea. Great job. Uh, you know, keep it up. Keep posting your projects because this is really cool stuff here. Uh, now we're going to jump over uh, to the Ryobi Rebels page, and this is um, Irfan Mohammed, and it looks like he is finally retiring his 14 volt. Uh, tools. It looks like his drills after 11 years. Hey, good for you, buddy. You're stepping up. You're going to the Ryobi One Plus, so you're going to get a little bit more extra amperage, some voltage. You're going to get some more work out of your tools. You are not going to regret it, but hey, good for you for using those 14.4s. They held up for a long time, and good for you for sharing. I, I really appreciate it. Also from Ryobi Rebels, we're going to take a look at Zach Kolick. Uh, this is really cool. Now, 
he took his organization of his tools and it's not new to have tool hangers but he took it a little bit further as you can see he put some real craftsmanship into building this uh, he chamfered and then he routed the edges off um, he stained it as well so he made it look really nice so you know what good for you man you know it, it's not just getting it done not just utilitarian but you put some craftsmanship you really put uh, you know your heart into it and the results well they speak for themselves so good for you thanks for really putting an effort out there and thanks for sharing it with the community as well uh, now we're going to take a trip over to the Ryobi tool users page and this is Robert uh, Maltzley. Uh, this is something that I've always wanted to see and I really hope that Ryobi actually comes out with something like this but you know what he took his knowledge uh, he took his craftsmanship he put it into action and he took one of his old batteries one of the old NICAD batteries he emptied it out he took the casing from it and he made it into a power adapter that you can plug into the wall now that's super creative he put it on his little fan but you can do this for you probably want it for your fans for a constant pull and a constant amperage you can probably use it for your lights as well so good for you if it's not a hybrid light you can use this for it um, just look for your output of the transformer that you're using uh, but I really have to say thank you for sharing that. It's such a cool idea on you know how you put it together. Now we are heading over to Ryobi uh, Revolution. This is Tom Snyder, and he has got the rotary impact hammer uh, driver, and he is busting a ceramic floor up. He's got the chipping blade on it, and he is going to town, and it looks like he is just ripping and roaring. So he's getting so, you know hopefully a little bit of frustration out. You know, shaking off some of the, the work week, really getting into it, knocking himself out in the uh, weekend jobs. And, and you know what, this is what we like to see. We want to see the tools in action. We want people to actually use them, not just hang them on a wall. So get in there, get dirty, drop the tools, use them how they're supposed to be used. Thanks for sharing. That's a great project. Okay, so let's head over to the Ryobi Freaks page. Michael Dean has taken some time and he's done some research. So everyone's really excited about the link system, not just the carrying cases, but the whole wall organization. There's a lot to cover, and there's a lot that's going there. But he was able to find some pricing for that. So let's take a quick look at that. So, you know, as we go through here, it is not cheap. It looks like, you know, a pretty typical $49 to $69 for a lot of just the, the hanging mounting systems. $12 for a single hook. And that seems to be a growing trend right there at the, the early teens. Um, you know, we have some universal just uh, boards that can go up, so I would call them some of the linking systems. That's $29 for two of them. Now let's take a look at some of the mobile tool storage. Um, just for the bottom piece, it's $84. Uh, for It looks like it's $54 for one of the large stackable toolboxes. Um, you know, $44 for one of the short ones, and for the baskets, $34. So, you know, after we look at all these prices, you can see it's really going to add up. You know, go check it out for yourself. It's coming out soon, and uh, really explore. I hope that people will start posting some of their videos and what they're doing for it. All right, so we are going over to Ryobi Revolution, and this one cracks me up because. I feel like doing this a lot. I really do. He has to take down a garage door. What better way? Grab your Ryobi battery powered chainsaw and just rip through it. Knock it out. Cut it down. Get your frustrations out. Be careful while you're doing it. Don't hit metal with that chainsaw. And just tear it up. And that's exactly what he's doing. So good for you getting out there and uh, you know just tear it up. Use your tools and make a difference and have fun with it. It looks like he's having fun. So have fun with it as well. The, one of the cooler things that you may have missed or you may not have missed at the Ryobi Revolution Group, Matthew Robbins is doing something a little bit different. We always complain when we look at the communities that the countries get different tools. For example, Australia, they get a lot of hand tools, um, you know, scissors, wrenches, hammers, things like that. The United States, we don't get any of that. So Matt's really been trying to connect the world in a way that he's been importing tools from Canada with some of his friends down there, and he's redistributing them, giving people in the United States an opportunity to get some of those tools. So check out this picture. He's imported, it looks like, I, I don't know, 100 pairs of scissors, and he's going to sell them at a reasonable price. He has to cover his shipping and things like that to import them, but you're going to get some of that branded tools that you may not have had the opportunity to get before. So if you're interested in something like that, head over to the Ryobi Revolution page on Facebook 
and uh, go pick yourself up a pair of scissors and hopefully they're not sold out so you better go quick. So Matt, really thank you for getting out there, putting this effort forward. I know it's not only you, I know that you have other people that are helping you as well. So thanks to everybody that's really putting this effort out there. It does not go unnoticed, so rock on, keep that up, and hopefully we'll have other people joining in, and we can really create a world community and not segregated uh, or siloed in our separate countries. Um, we all have communication abilities, uh, so let's use those. I appreciate everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you in more videos, and not just you seeing me, but I hope to feature some of the projects that you're doing too. I hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody.